Hi, it's Mike here from Music Radio Creative. In this video, I'll show you how to set a de up in Adobe Audition. So, if you've got sounds in Adobe Audition and you're playing them back and you're thinking From Washington, D.C. There's a lot of s and there's a lot of distortion on that treble -E S and k sounds and anything like that and you want to get rid of that, a de is going to be your best friend. So, as you can see here, I've already opened Spectral Frequency Display in Audition. How do you do that? Usually, your waveform when you drag it in will look just like this. From Washington, D.C. with International House Sounds. Oh, there's a lot of SE siblings there. Well, we can certainly reduce it. So, to access Spectral Frequency Display, click this button here, or you can hit Shift and D on your keyboard, and there it is. Now, the reason why this is fantastic for DSing with accuracy is the fact that you've got these wonderful heat maps, particularly around the S. From Washington, D.C. There's one. With International House Sounds. There, there, there. It's the stereo. Oh, and that one is a really good example. So what I'm going to do using here, making sure the tool selected is Marquee Selection, in Spectral Frequency, select just the S only. There's one, and of course we can grab one here. And we can grab one here. And of course here. But I think perhaps the best example of an S here is right here. You can see the heat map. It goes from purple to red to yellow. Uh, black is no sound, purple a little bit, red a bit more, yellow loads of sound in that frequency. So this is going to be uh, really, really important to do. So I've selected it and you can see the main part of the sibilance of the S is here, this area here, uh, which is roughly falling around the sort of late 8K uh, mark up to uh, maybe 9K, uh, 9 kilohertz. So how do we find out exactly where the heart of the sibilance is? Well, this is where you can go into window. You can open up the wonderful, absolutely fantastic frequency analysis window. And then you can, you can play this audio. Let's really make that nice and tight around the sibilance. Let's tighten it in right there. And then we can loop it, clicking the loop button here, and take a print. There it is. And now, if I move to somewhere where it's silent and we just look at that noise print I've taken, you can see there is a clear peak here. This is where the height of the sibilance occurs inside this particular voice. And it is different for every voice. It's why I advise that you do it individually for each voice and each setup. Each microphone can have a different sibilant sound. Uh, so here, when I hover over the spike, you will see down here, there is a little cursor display and it tells you where your cursor is uh, when you're pointing. So I'm pointing here and it's telling me my cursor is kind of roughly around the 8,000 hertz or the 8 kilohertz mark. This is important because now when I get into setting up that de I'm going to select this area of audio to set it on to give you an example. Go into Effects, Amplitude and Compression, de -esser. And then here I know exactly my center frequency needs to be 8,000 hertz. For you it might be different, it might be 8,500, it might be 7,300. But that puts my de in the right area. And you can see here, uh, the sibilance kind of starts around uh, 6,000 hertz and ends around 15,000. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the bandwidth ever so slightly, make it 4,000 hertz. This is where you can get really advanced. You can open up the preview window here and you can actually see in real time the effect your de is having. Now, if I zoom in there, you can see, here you go, this yellow section has got a lot less visible. Let's switch it off. Yellow comes back in, switch it back on, and it's going off. Now, I can increase the bandwidth a bit more and see how it affects things. You see, increasing it actually hasn't uh, helped. It's actually really probably hindered. So let's stay on 4,000 hertz for the moment. From and Washington, D.C., with International House Sounds. It's the stereo house cat. Okay, you can see that the gain reduction is kicking in when the sibilance is occurring. This is what we want. Uh, we can probably go a bit higher. The most important thing is to make sure when you're setting up this threshold here that the gain reduction isn't kicking in all the time and that it's only kicking in during the sibilant parts of your audio. So let's reduce this down to, let's go down to minus 40 to start with, around minus 40. There we go. From Washington, D.C., with International House Sounds. It's the Stereo Housecast from Washington, D.C. with International House Sounds. So I'd say that's actually working pretty well. And again, 
at minus 40 dB on threshold, you can now see this sibilance is really disappearing here. And this is the way you can really accurately set up a de in Adobe Audition. I'm going to reduce it even further. Let's go down to around minus 50 and see what happens there. From Washington, D.C. Okay. With international house. Now you can see the gain reduction is just kicking in all the time. We do not want this. Let's go to uh, minus 44.3. From Washington, D.C. With Again, still kicking in. So let's ease it up. Minus 41. From Washington, D.C. With international house sounds. It's the Stereo Housecast. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with uh, what I've got there. So DS are set up with accuracy. Now we can look at before and after in the preview window so you can see where these yellow spots are, where the S's are. They are very much disappearing, especially this really S-y sibilant sound, uh, very much reduced using de -Essa. So now you know how you can set up a de with accuracy in Adobe Audition. First of all, get your waveform in. Go into Spectral Frequency View. Use the Frequency Analysis window. Take a print of the S sound. Find the peak of that. Put it in as the center frequency. Play around with your bandwidth. And finally, set up your threshold so it's only doing the gain reduction on the S-E and sibilant sounds, but not on the rest of the speech. And you will have a super sweet de in your audio chain. Let me know how you get on with de -essing. Leave a comment below. <laughs>